So here's the answer to my exam question that I posted on my Instagram. And if you want to get more of my practice quizzes and tests for my calculus classes, make sure you join my Patreon. The link will be in the description. Here for this question, we are going to find out at what x does our original f have a inflection point. So this is the graph, but you have to be super careful because the graph is what? The derivative graph. This is f prime of x. So if you look at just the picture, it's like, uh, it doesn't like concave up, concave down. It's not that because we're not given the original graph. This is the derivative graph. So how do we answer this though? Well, we have to remember that f has a point of inflection. This is where our second derivative of the original changes signs. Either goes from positive to negative or negative to positive. Okay, how do we do this though? We only have the first derivative. Remember, the derivative is the slope. So if you look for the slope of the derivative graph, that will give us the second derivative of the original. For example, if you look at this, the slope right here is negative, but the slope of the derivative graph being negative, that tells us the second derivative of the original is negative. So what we are going to do is notice that if you just keep going down, all the second derivative here, it's going to be negative for the original. But once we get to here, notice this right here, the slope, let me just write it down, slope of what graph? This graph, which is the first derivative graph. The slope of the first derivative graph, well here, the tangent segment is horizontal, so it's zero. So the slope of the first derivative is zero. This means the second derivative is equal to zero. Before that, it's all going down. So the second derivative is negative, And after you pass this point, it's all coming back. So it's all positive. This is where the second derivative changes signs, right? And that x value is when x is equal to zero. This is negative two, this is two, this right here is zero. That's it. By the way, as a little bonus, because this is also a very common question, especially take like AP test or AP class or maybe college calculus, they also like to ask these kind of questions. They like to give you the derivative graph and ask you about the original. Right here, this is the point, let's say, inflection point, let me just write it out, inflection point of f. Now, if you are given the first derivative graph, remember when you have the graph, anything above the x-axis is positive, anything below the x-axis is negative. At negative 2, this is where the first derivative changes from positive to negative. So f has a local positive first derivative means going up, negative first derivative means going down. So we have a local max at x equals negative two. Right here, the first derivative goes from negative to positive. So at this point, this right here is a local minimum, so I'll just say f has a local minimum at x equals positive 2. So this is how you do this kind of questions.